Monday fire starter and um, we're, we are in the book of Romans I'm going to read uh, a good little chunk today uh, Romans chapter 1 verses 8 uh, through 17 okay um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the gospel so it starts in verse 8 first I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed in all the world for God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I mention you, always in my prayers, asking that somehow my God will, uh, by God's will, I may now at last succeed in coming to you. For I long to see you, that, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. That is, that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far I have been prevented, in order that I may reap some harvest among you as well as among the rest of the Gentiles. I'm under obligation both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish, so I'm eager to preach the gospel to you also who are in Rome. Verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. And All right, so in this... In this scripture, Paul is talking about the heartbeat of the of, of every believer is the gospel. Um, now, the gospel is primarily for the lost, those who do not yet know God, and and that's the message is for those who are lost, the ones that God loves. Um, and we need to be careful that we don't just keep the gospel to ourselves. We have that tendency: uh, I've got mine, and I'm going to eat it, and I'm not going to share it. We need to be sharing the hope that we have. And that's a constant theme throughout Scripture. We need to share the hope that we have. Um, because uh, it, it is the hope of the world. It's the only hope that they have. However, this text, uh, Paul is trying to explain to us that the gospel is good for you. The gospel is good for training. The gospel helps you grow in your faith. Uh, and in fact, he's so eager throughout these verses. I can't wait to be with you so that we can talk about the gospel because it is the food that we live off of. It's our daily food for the human heart. Uh, it's the power of God for salvation, as it says in verse 16, for who? To everyone who believes. So this is a message for the believers too. Uh, and it's important for us to remember in verse 17, righteousness of God. Not righteousness of men and women, but the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, and this is a quote from Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, where Paul is quoting Habakkuk. And I just love it when Paul quotes the Old Testament scriptures. It's proof that this was this is nothing new. This is always God's intention. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But he says, the righteous shall live by faith. And that's your Monday Fire Starter. I'll see you next week. Bye.